Welcome to the Perkiomen Creek Water Trail. Today we're going to take a little trip on the upper section of the trail. However, our adventure on the water actually begins with an adventure of its own. The goal for the day is to begin and end at Meadow Park in Schwenksville without using any motor vehicles to transport our gear or boat. With that goal in mind, we traded in our normal 15-foot canoe for a larger 17-footer with its own trailer and bike mount. Then we grabbed our bikes and pedaled north of the Perkiomen Trail. From Schwenksville, it's about six and a half miles to our put in at Crusher Road via the Perkiomen Trail. This upper section of the trail is a little more remote and gives riders ample time to enjoy the scenery and think about all the heavy things they're carrying and dragging behind their bike. From the Crusher Road trailhead, follow the Perkiomen Trail south to the old railroad bridge that crosses the creek. This is actually the Unami Creek, but don't worry, it joins with the Perkiomen a few hundred yards downstream. To access the creek, use the trail on the upstream side of the creek and closest to Crusher Road. Stay close to the bridge abutment in order to utilize the trail right-of-way, and be sure to respect all private property. Begin your paddle with a quick look at the map. Plan your route and familiarize yourself with potential hazards and distances between landmarks. Check the water level of the creek by typing USGS Perkiomen Greaterford into your web browser. Although you can paddle the upper section at flows of 200 cubic feet per second or less, I find that for a more enjoyable time, water levels should be at 300 to 1,000 cubic feet per second, or CFS for short. Just downstream of the old railroad bridge, the Unami merges with the Perkiomen. Here you can see where the waters mix, as recent rains have turned the Perkiomen a muddy green. A half mile below the confluence, you'll reach your first obstacle. This is the old concrete pipe dam. You shouldn't attempt to paddle over this dam, as a series of metal pins protrude from its face. More experienced paddlers with smaller boats can navigate the chutes on river left and river right. Newer paddlers, or those with larger boats, should line or carry their boats around the dam. A rocky shoal below the dam gives paddlers the chance to reboard their craft and continue downstream. Overall, the upper Perkiomen Creek is characterized by sinuous curves and rocky gorges. Paddlers should be prepared to maneuver their craft with skill as the creek is dotted with large rocks and a number of old dam remnants. You'll be rewarded for your efforts though, as this is a seldom paddled portion of the creek, and so offers an abundance of solitude and serenity. As you approach Southford Station Road, you'll paddle through a large pond-like oxbow in the creek. Directly downstream are the remnants of the Southford Station Dam. These remnants pose a greater obstacle than some others on the creek. Here it's best to navigate the chute on river left, or the left side of the creek as you face downstream. At water levels greater than 300 CFS, you can paddle this chute, but at lower flows, you may have to get out and walk. About a mile below Salford Station Road, you'll pass under the old railroad bridge that now carries the Perkiomen Trail. This signifies your arrival at Foy Park and the Spring Mount Dam. Again, do not attempt to paddle over this dam, which is extremely dangerous, especially at high water. Instead, exit the creek 200 feet upstream on river right, and portage or carry your boat and gear around the dam. Here, Foy Park offers a great opportunity to stop and rest or grab a quick bite to eat before continuing on with your journey. You can then re-enter the creek beneath the Spring Mount Road Bridge. As you paddle the upper section of the Perkiomen, be on the lookout for sweepers and strainers. Sweepers and strainers are partially submerged trees that block the flow of the creek. These obstacles can be extremely dangerous, and paddlers should avoid them at all costs. Below the Spring Mount Dam, the Swamp Creek enters the Perkiomen on river right. Look for the old railroad bridge that crosses the creek behind Moshe's train stop. Just downstream, the Perkiomen makes a series of S-turns. Stay left on the first S-turn, then paddle right to pass under the pedestrian bridge at Park Avenue. After passing under Park Avenue, you'll have a half mile of straight paddling before reaching the newly installed boat ramp at Schwanksville's Meadow Park. Thanks for joining me on this mini expedition on the Upper Perkiomen. Remember, always check the water level and weather forecast, wear your PFD or life jacket, 
respect private property, and pack out your trash. Check out our other videos highlighting the middle and lower Perkiomen. And as always, I hope to see you out on the water.